What's going on guys? It's your boy DPJ here today with another Destiny video and in today's Destiny video we're going to check out the top 10 most used weapons in Trials of Osiris to win. Now this list was put together by a Reddit user called Spiffy Jr. A big shout out to him, uh, obviously a lot of hard work has gone into this list and I'll link the original post down below. Now these stats were taken from 5,000 games played on the 14th of June and in this video we're going to take a look at the top 10 most used weapons on the winning team. Now the original list contains over 180 weapons so check it out if you want to see where your favourite weapon is listed if it isn't in this top 10. Another thing guys, pause the video and try and predict what weapon you think will be at that number 1 spot by leaving a comment down below. Ok we're going to get straight into the list and in at number 10 we have a weapon called the Tomorrow's Answer. Now this is the Trials of Osiris rocket launcher. Now in my personal experience in the Trials of Osiris, I haven't actually seen this weapon that much to be honest. I don't think I've seen it at all. And it does surprise me that it's in this top 10 list. In at number 9 we have a weapon that won't surprise anybody that's actually in this list. It is the Ephrodite Spear. Now this is the Iron Banner Sniper Rifle, uh, the one with that final round. A lot of people complain about this weapon, a lot of people believe it's cheap to use this weapon. I'm personally one of them people and especially last week on Widow's Core I did see so many people using this weapon. It was unbelievable. Not so much this week in the Cauldron. But definitely last week, this weapon was way, way overused. And that's basically because sniping straight down that centre lane, final round, guaranteed one shot body kill. Why not use it? Why not utilise it? Why not? Okay, in at number 8, we have the Red Death Exotic Pulse Rifle. And this actually surprises me, this ain't high up in the list. Even though me personally, I haven't seen many people using it in the Trials of Osiris, I know this is a fan favourite in Crucible. In at number 8 we have the Hawk Moon, now this is a PlayStation exclusive and it's still number 7 on this list. Now if this was on both consoles, I can guarantee it would probably be in the top 3. I personally have not had an experience with this weapon as I play it on Xbox only, but I know it is a fan favourite. Some people say it's overrated, some people worship it. In at number 6 we have the Found Verdict, now this is one of my favourite standard crucible shotguns. I absolutely love the Fan Verdict, it is the Vault of Glass shotgun and I have actually seen quite a few people using this in the Trials of Osiris. In at number 5 we have the Party Crusher Plus One, now this is a shotgun you can obtain from Crucible. I've had this drop numerous times for me, never actually rerolled it to get the Mods Odd 1 on it and level it up and try it, but I think I will, I mean I've been on quite a few times in Trials of Osiris with this weapon. And it is obviously a fan favourite as it's 5 in the list. In at number 4 we have another shotgun, the Matador 64. This, like the Party Crusher, drops in Crucible. I again have had this weapon drop numerous times and again have not levelled it up or re-rolled it to get that certain type of mods I would like on a shotgun. But playing Trials of Osiris I can see this being used quite a lot and I can understand why it's at number 4 in this list. In at number 3 we have the last word exotic hand cannon. Now I do personally see this used all the time. Me personally I ain't really a fan, I mean yes it's an amazing weapon, close range weapon but in my opinion it's overpowered for what it actually is. I mean yes fair enough it should be a beast at close range, I mean it's fire rate, it's a hand cannon, it should drop you in an instant but it's range is out of this world, I mean you will get clipped a couple shots from super long distance and you will die and hand cannons just shouldn't be doing that especially ones that shoot as fast as the last word but it is a great weapon and a lot of people do use it and it's at number three in the list which doesn't surprise me in at number two we have a shotgun called the foul winter's lie now the foul winter's lie is a personal favorite of mine and i do use it a lot in the trials of osiris i mean why not in my opinion it is the best shotgun in the game and if you get a certain set of rolls on it, which I actually made a video on, and I'll link in the video description if you guys do want to check that out, this weapon becomes unbeatable, it really does. I mean, yes, the Party Crusher and the Matador 64 are both great, great weapons, but in my opinion, the Foul Winter's Lie is easily the best. Okay, moving on to number one, and the most used weapon in Trials of Souls on winning teams is the Fawn Hand Cannon. And over 50% of people are using the Fawn hand cannon in the Trials of Osiris. Now me personally, I'll pull out a few tweets saying that I think this weapon needs to be nerfed. 
I mean, I do use it, I do enjoy using it, but I still can see how powerful this weapon is and how overpowered this weapon is for what it actually is. I mean, this weapon will outpower scout rifles across map. That should not be happening. It's a two-shot headshot kill. That should not be the case. It really shouldn't. But still, at the end of the day, this is an exotic hand cannon. It isn't very easy to obtain and it is extremely powerful. So I do not blame people whatsoever for using it in the Trials of Osiris. At the end of the day, you want to win and people will do what they have to do to win. The Fawn, the FD Spear with that final round, some people say they're cheap. But at the end of the day, if you want to win, you'll use what you've got to use to win. And it's as simple as that. Me personally, I have used the Fawn in the Trials of Osiris and I enjoy using it. But I do come across a lot of people who are miles better than me with this weapon in the Trials of Osiris and I get owned by them. And I'll admit that. At the end of the day, it is what it is. Will it get nerfed? I actually think it might do. Because Bungie have this thing about nerfing weapons that are overused. They did it with auto rifles and the Suicide Regime. They originally buffed this weapon because a lot of people complained about it. And now it's become probably the most powerful weapon in the game. But yep guys, that is it. That is the top 10 most used weapon in Trials of Souls on them winning teams. Now did you leave a comment at the start of the video and did you predict this weapon right? I personally knew the form was going to be the number one weapon in the top 10 weapons used in the Trials of Osiris. But guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. What is your favourite weapon or setup to use in the Trials of Osiris? Let me know down below in that comment section. Thanks for stopping by as always and peace out until next time. Peace!